Yo, 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 and it also has the controls, whether you're using a controller or the keyboard. So make sure you read this important information right here as well, all right? Also has the credits down here also. When you get done reading this full description, come up right here where this red button is at and select download this file, all right? Once you press download this file, this little uh, box is gonna pop up and it's gonna pop up with two options. It's gonna have the pre-modded install, then it's going to have the manual install. We will be focusing on the pre-modded install, okay? So make sure that you download the pre-modded install. Just select the download button. All right, after that has been downloaded, it's gonna look something like this. On my left-hand side, I have one download, which is the Silent Virtues PC pre-modded install. And on my right-hand side, I have the Red Dead Redemption 1 directory opened up and ready to go, all right? Now, let's open up our Silent Virtues PC folder. Inside that folder, it is going to be this content right here, right? Now, let's go over to our Red Dead Redemption 1 directory and we wanna open up the game folder. Okay, open up the game folder. Inside the game folder, this is where we're gonna be taking our content from our Silent Virtues folder. We're gonna take everything except the README docs. All right, we just need everything here except the README docs. And we're gonna take these four files, drag and drop them over to our Red Dead Redemption um, one directory, but before we do that, okay, because these three files right here, these three uh, notepad files, they are going to overwrite some files, okay? They are going to be overwriting um, content, um, what's that, nav, navers, or navris, and uh, the tune D11, okay? So I suggest that you create a backup folder. I'll go ahead and show you how to create a backup folder. We're just creating a folder and just call it backup okay create a folder and call it backup open up the backup folder and we're going to take those three files that is going to be overriding from our original um, red dead redemption directory in the game folder we're going to take those original three files i have highlighted and we're going to copy them over to our backup folder all right so make backups of these three um files before you override them all right all right, now that we have made our necessary backups, let's go and highlight these four files that we are going to be installing and just drag and drop them over here. All right. All right, once we drag and drop them, we are all good to go. Make sure you pay attention to the controls on how to open it. I'm going to be using a controller, but if you're using a keyboard, uh, you definitely want to pay attention to what you have to press, okay? All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game. All right, once you load in the game, you're going to see this little message saying, Welcome to Silent Virtues. It's going to have the creators and it's going to have the buttons to press, okay? So since I'm using a controller, I'm going to press X and LB. X and LB, which is the left shoulder button, is going to bring up the Silent Virtues menu on the left side of the screen. Let's go through the categories that it has to offer. The first one is self options, weapon options, teleport options, world options, miscellaneous options, and spawner options. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in self options. Self options, we're going to have page one and page two. You'll have single player stuff, Medusa menu, model changer, dead eye editor, and freeze controls. Now, we're not going to get too in depth about all these controls because I want you to install the trainer and play around with the features and uh, see what you like. All right. So in page one, this is where you could uh, select God mode, infinite horse, no clip, free camera, and some ragdoll features as well as skip loot animation. All right. To press back and when you're inside the menu to press back, you want to press the right shoulder button. That's going to go back and to scroll down to page two. Page two, we have 
no wanted ai ignore drunk suicide ai mode ghost rider and ride all animals okay so just in case you want to ride all animals you have an option right here and they do have ai mode where you could just put it on ai mode and watch your character walk around but it's best to use a non-story playable character I, I think it says uh, it's best to use an mp character it'll tell you as soon as you select ai mode see so at the bottom works best with non-story non-mp characters okay so obviously it's going to work best without um using jack because this is jack right here john's son all right so let's scroll let's go back to the other page single player stuff gonna be the next one this is where you can unlock all outfits give max cash edit consumables provisions unlock cheat codes things of that type of nature you go back you have your medusa menu as well you can kill explode hellfire delete and you have your model changer and dead eye editor okay so these are just um, a lot of features that it comes with feel free to play around with it i'm going to be playing around with all these features as well if this helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video feel free to smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are into modding red dead redemption one this is games and graphics me and jack we out of here till next time, yo. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.